welcome back to the channel everybody. So yes, exciting day and I can uh, hear you asking Jim what is going on? Well I am off to get the wobble box. Um, so in this video I'm going to be sort of talking through our hour checklist that we go through um, in preparation to, uh, just before we start towing. Um, so hopefully yeah you, you find this uh, of use obviously everyone's going to have their own checklist and, and preparation that they go through so this is ours and um, yeah we'll go through them one by one and hopefully this will give you some good pointers of uh, best practice in terms of yeah before setting off following these tasks um, so yeah we'll head over to the storage yard and then yeah we'll get cracking so here we are on uh, at our storage yard um, and like I just said this, these are all going to be the steps that I go through getting it prepared ready for towing um, it's going to be aimed as if you are actually on a site um, so again it'll be going through everything that I, I believe you, you should be looking for in terms of safety um, um, and again no sort of by the time you get home surprises um, broken stuff where it's fallen off the side spill stuff in the fridge just like I say just some real general good practice to be going through um, but like I say we'll get started so I think the first thing to remember is keep a cool head these are items and checks that you should be doing every time that you are leaving site um, don't feel pressured make sure that you are running through these um, most sites will have a, a, a time that you're supposed to be leaving but as long as they see you that you're packing up normally that's quite flexible to be fair I've never been on a site where they say 10 o'clock and, and they're round sort of almost outside the, the caravan waiting for you to leave so don't feel pressured in, in that way just make sure that you've gone through everything that you can think of you haven't just chucked everything in the caravan and then once you've got on your travels and maybe that's 20 minutes down the road maybe that's four or five hours down the road um, but what you don't want to do is sort of rush this and, and, and a silly mistake that could be costly in terms of damage to the caravan or surprises when you get home so just take the time to actually go through the checklist uh, and in, a, in a repeatable way every time and in that way at least that way you, you know there's going to be no unforeseen accidents and you get the caravan home safely so the scenario here is, like I say, it's the morning of leaving site. I've disconnected the electric, the water, all the items are now packed away, whether they're chairs, tables, the awning, they're in, it's in its bag. So again, everything is sort of, we've spent the last hour or so getting that side of things ready. Um, so where I normally start um, before bringing all those items into the caravan is look at the different sections within and just do a quick, uh, visual of what I can see and whether there's anything that I need to get rid of or move on the basis that yeah it's going to fall over or cause damage later on. Um, I start at the front of the caravan sort of the lounge um, area and again the TV will go away I more than often sort of um, just make sure the cupboards are closed just double check what's actually in them just make sure I haven't or we haven't bought anything um, during the stay and, and put in there for a, sort of a just a short period of time but drinks things that can sort of be quite heavy items then we move back into the kitchen area and again that's just making sure that there's nothing on the sides that will slip off when you're in transit um, so yeah put things in actually in the sink itself to stop them sliding around the other areas actually um, things like the oven make sure that you haven't left anything sort of um, pan wise in there that's going to be heavy and, and, and be sliding around and banging around um, so make sure that they're all stored away uh, and probably the other key area is the fridge just make sure that anything that is not needed is thrown away after your, your the trip that you've had it's quite often like say you're half through through something I don't know tin of beans uh, drinks that haven't got lids and, and things like that so just have a look through there make sure that you're throwing everything away that you, you need to and anything that you bring it back is stored correctly and just to make sure get, you're gonna have a bit of sliding around and just make sure that what's in there it's fine to do so so when you get home you don't open it up and go ah yeah we forgot about that and you get a nice puddle on the floor or broken glass within so yeah that's the second section third section obviously is the rear of the caravan and in there that's where for us uh, the children sleep um, 
And again, that's just making sure that they haven't got any sort of little hidden surprises. It's normally where most of the mess is, being having children, um, biscuit wrappers, drinks bottles, lids not completely on. Um, obviously, we go to a lot of sites that have arcades, and, and what comes with that is all the sort of crap from there. I mean, I mean, <laughs> all all the great toys that they get. Um, and again, and one of those it will be around things like slime. Oh God, yeah. Uh, they'll have that and again the lid's not on properly so it's just making sure that there, there is no hidden surprises within that area um, and check the shelves check the cupboards um, and just make sure like I say nothing can slip off and into the beds or into the, uh, uh, the seating area um, and again just yeah just hassles that you could live without by just doing this sort of visual um, and then the last one obviously is the is the toilet and the sort of bathroom area and again, just make sure you've taken all the shampoos off the side um, and that kind of thing. So again, if it's sort of aftershaves in, in the storage unit, um, cabinet above, just make sure that nothing's going to sort of fall off and, and, and come into the, the floor area and smash. Um, but again, take the time just to do this visual whilst you haven't got anything else in here. Um, but again, yeah, just little things, but critical things to make sure that, yeah, that there's nothing obvious. Um, and then probably the last thing I would do is just go through whilst in, the, in those areas, just checking the actual uh, windows, the, the, the roof uh, uh, windows as well, just making sure they're all pulled down and, and as expected. Certainly in the bathroom area, obviously they're open, obviously for that ventilation for when you're in the shower. So again, that can be a common one that's missed. Uh, the TV aerial, make sure that that's down and in a correct location and, and tightened up. So again, that's not flapping around. So at least that way, all sort of items that you know and visually can see uh, are, yeah, have been accountable for. So again, just like I say, it doesn't take long, but again, it's, it's, it's just that crucial thing to make sure there's no hidden surprises later on when you get home. That's the last thing you want to do is sort of travel, especially if you've got a long travel, a distance to go, you don't come back to any surprises. Um, so yeah, that's sort of the first area, just a visual through those sort of four sections. So the, so the other area, based on obviously the electric and the water being switched off, um, you you would have had your boiler system uh, and your water system obviously on, and it's and it's actually filled up the reservoir within the caravan. So one of the the first items here is obviously to make sure everything is off, the electric's off, so the pump's not working, and then actually uh, flick the switch that would be next to your boiler, and again that's just going to release all that water crucial that happens is obviously you don't want to be carrying that extra weight when you're traveling home um, and depending on the size of the caravan obviously these will be these will vary in times in terms of how many liters that will hold so yeah and, and again it's something that's often forgotten and you, what happens is you, you bring everything into the caravan to travel home and then realize ah actually I need to do that and you might have things placed on the seat so whilst you sort of before you bring everything in just flick the switch to sort of the vertical position that will then release the, the water you'll be able to hear it um, and also make sure that all your taps are open so the ones in the kitchen the one, the, the one in the bathroom and, and the shower head as well so that way it brings that it doesn't cause a vacuum and, and keep the water in um, so again that will that will probably take five ten minutes to actually uh, drain through um, but as long as you've got the majority out that that's sort of the main thing obviously as you go down the road you're going to see some water coming out but that's to be expected it's those last bits in the pipe as as, as a result of the caravan moving um but yeah certainly an item that you need to be sort of yeah making sure that you do to start with and as as always again when you go back to using your caravan it's often a, a place that you forget so obviously you're really excited you've just got to site you've plugged your water in you've turned it on and you're wondering what's going on or what what's that massive puddle and again you forgot to obviously flick the switch so it's in the in the closed position so yeah it's, it's just one of those things just to remember whether you're coming to site or leaving site yeah either empty it or make sure it's it's finished best practice obviously once it has finished remember to close it but because it's sort of can take 10 15 minutes it, it depends on what sort of time scales you're working to in terms of leaving the, the site um, normally I will leave it open 
and I'll just remember to close it when I attend site next time. And then that way, as I say, as you're moving down uh, the motorway or the roads, it's, it's rocking and it's getting that last bit of water out of the system. But um, yeah, something to remember. One of the item, other items I like to do is in terms of um, the internal space, um, I will have the front window um, shutter actually open and the same with the rear. And again, this will vary on, on the vehicle that you're using, but for us, where we're quite high up in the van, it's a way of actually, when we use the rear mirror, we can look actually all the way through. Um, and again, we can use that to see what sort of the traffic's going behind us as well as the, obviously our mirrors either side but yeah something else if you've got that option um yeah it's good to be able to open those both up just so you've got a visual all the way through the van whilst you're traveling so the next thing we move on to is the actual sort of bringing the items from outside into the caravan i would say the majority of, all, of your weight should be in your vehicle that you're that you're using to tow that's the safest place um then move into the caravan so for us if it's things like um, chairs um, tables we'll have that wedged between the two um, a seating area at the front um, and that way obviously it stops it from uh, falling over and if it does move slightly obviously it's, it's got the cushions to catch it um, then as you move back towards the the center of the caravan that's where we'll place our awning so it's actually on the um, axle line so again it's sort of that that heavier weight is there and then as you move further back into where the children sleep at the rear then I would say things like duvets the lighter stuff can go there but the last thing you want to do is add lots of weight to the rear of the caravan that is a really dangerous situation to be in it should be at the front of the caravan and like I said anything really heavy then I would put that in your towing vehicle um, as best practice you may have seen some of the videos on YouTube where they have the weight at the back and they've shown the example of, of, the, of the different locations and, and you'll see, yeah, if once it starts um, swaying as a result of the weight, again, it's really hard to get that back and yeah, it could be a really serious accident, but easy to avoid. So like I say, main weight in the towing vehicle, then the front of the caravan, then the middle and then the rear. And if you sort of follow that, then you're, you'll be set up for a safe trip home. So at this point, well, everything from an internal point of view should be all complete by now. Obviously, uh, the electrics is off, the water is empty, you've done a visual of what you can see, you've looked at the weight distribution between all the sections. Um, so all that side of things should be all good to go. Um, the cupboards are all closed, um, nothing obvious that's gonna slide off. So from that, you can then lock the caravan up uh, and you're done from an internal perspective. So from uh, an external perspective, obviously the next stage will be a case of just making sure that uh, your things like your hose pipe, um, your electric, again, has all been uh, reeled back up. It's back in the storage locker at the front. Um, that's been closed and secured. So again, it's not gonna fly open, but again, a common thing that again people will close them down and then forget that they're not actually locked in place and again the last thing you want to do is go down the motorway the wind catch or for it to bump and then it then suddenly fly open so yeah just make sure everything that's it, that you're expecting to sort of go in its correct location so again um, the electric wheel um, reel um, hose pipe it depends on what you put in the front but just make sure that is an area that's locked um, Obviously the next stage there is obviously moving your security devices, um, bringing the steadies up so it's in uh, and ready for a towing um, out from the actual pitch. Um, and again, that can vary. Um, if you're an experienced um, person that can tow, again, you may just reverse the, the car or towing vehicle onto pitch and pull that off. Um, for myself, I'm pretty lazy on that front. I, and we've got a, a transporter, a long wheelbase. So again, it can sort of be quite tricky to get that sort of uh, length into some of these pitches. So what I will normally tend to do is just have that in a place where it's slightly up from the pitch and I will use the motor mover um, to, to bring this out. So what we'll do is I'll, I'll move on to that aspect in, in terms of using the motor mover to, to get it hooked up. And then we can go over what those checks are once it's actually attached to the, the vehicle. 
on a slightly different note, maybe one of you can help me. So, in terms of our, our motor mover, we've got to a stage now where one of the motors uh, seems to be clicking, or the mechanism that drives the wheel. So, yeah, if anybody knows what this is, I'll turn the camera around just so you can hear it. Um, but uh, yeah, any advice? As you can hear, it's got that slightly that clicking sound every th few seconds. But um, yeah, if any of you know what that is, if you could let me know, yeah, we'd really appreciate it. So as you just seen, obviously I've used the motor mover to bring the caravan out. Um, like I said, it, it's something that I do when I either go into site or leaving, or if I'm leaving the house, whatever it may be, I, I always use the motor mover. So don't feel like I say that's cheating or whether oh, you, it doesn't make you a proper true caravan because you can't back into a site hitch. It's whatever works for yourself. Don't feel pressured into like say, doing stuff because that's what you think is the right way to do it in terms of oh I must reverse the caravan every time onto the pitch or anything along those lines it's a case of like I say whatever is comfortable for you I always find like I say I will get to site I'll put the caravan outside the pitch I will unhook it unhitch it and then obviously reverse it in using the motor mover um, for me that works I didn't have any issues but again like I say it's just just about finding the things to make these things easier um, and for you not to get stressed out because that's the key thing you're, you're here or you're going on holiday to just be chilled don't put yourself in a position where you're going to get stressed out as a result of some of these things if it works for you that's fine so when it comes to obviously attaching the caravan obviously this part will need to be up and, and clicked into place as you move it into position and start lowering it this just latch down and that'll give you the indication that you need that it's in place you can just double check it just give it a little bit of weight to make sure that it's definitely attached as expected bring down the actual alcove lock in place you then got the option for the towing hitch latch breakaway so that's in place you can then get your actual electrics hooked up. Like so. And then the last bit is just to get the, the jockey wheel in position. Um, underneath the wheel you, you will see that there's like a V shape. Um, so when you're, the jockey wheel's moving around, uh, there's only one way that the, it will lock into place so it doesn't flap around. So you might just need to have a look underneath, but that will stop. But again, when it's in transit, the wheel's not doing this. So yeah, you will just need to have a visual under, underneath just to see where that, that is. you've got it raised up you can get the wheel into where it needs to be and tighten that up into place give it a fair bit of force yeah, to stop, obviously stop that moving up and down um, the other area which we came a proper um, a few trips ago and we've been caravanning sort of two or three years now um, but something I didn't really think about was actually putting too much tension on this um, obviously I, my thought was around this and locked that in place and I must have just pinched that up enough but not quite enough as I thought 
Um, and what actually happened was, as we were traveling, the vibrations actually were slowly vibrating this loose. Um, and, and, and yeah, all that happened was you had the wheel, the weight of the wheel pulling down, which then so naturally it would unwind itself. Um, and it wasn't until I was going down the motorway and was looking in my rear view mirrors and actually saw sparks coming out and what had happened obviously this had, had wound un, un, undone and it must have been for some time because obviously the wheel had actually disappeared um, altogether so it was the metal grinding on the road um, yeah really silly mistake but yeah never gave it that much thought in terms of this would be the bit that would actually come down I, I always thought it would be this so yeah lessons learned from that was um, yeah make sure you pinch this up quite tight um, so you don't sort of uh, yeah run into the mistake I made So you're now going to be at the stage where you're in your last few checks um, before setting off. Um, what you want to be doing now is just walking around the caravan one last time. You want to be checking the windows, the doors, making making sure that your your indicators are working as expected. Like I say, this is the, the last few checks that you want to be doing. Um, probably the very, very last check for us is to make sure, certainly when we're at home before setting off, we haven't left one of the cats in the van where we've been before where I've just about just gone off and I thought no I'll just have that last check open the door and found a cat just sat there meowing um, but um, yeah quite amusing but yeah like I say it's just about going around the van just doing those last few checks make sure uh, the hatches are locked or clipped in place uh, locked away as expected we've had friends before um, where we've traveled down and one of the hatches has been left open and again the washing lines fallen out um, and uh, yeah silly little things that can be um, taken care of if we just sort of spend that, that few few minutes just before setting off doing these last few checks but um, yeah all, all set out uh, like I say have a nice relaxing break or travel home no hidden surprises so we've checked everything here the electrics is uh, attached and working uh, the caravan handbrake is off the jockey wheel is up locked in place both at the top and at the rear so again it's not going to extend down um, in any way the front locker has been checked and that is locked again the, the, the front window has been checked and the blind is open so again allow a visual through um, so now it's just a case of going round checking everything yep yeah, locked it's good obviously as you can see see straight through the van And looking at the state of this, the first job I'm going to do is, when I get back is actually give this a really good clean because um, it is filthy. Um, and then, like I say, hopefully, you've already checked it with your in internal sort of views of when you did your checks at the beginning. But again, like I say, just make sure your roof hatches are are sealed as expected and uh, the interior aerial is down because again, they're. they're they're quite common that you, you forget about but so um, yeah just make sure all these little things are you've had a, a walk around a visual on all this before setting off so there you have it so that, that's all the sort of checks that we would go through internal checks make sure nothing's just going to fall off and break give us any sort of surprises like I say if you've got kids that's another key area just make sure that 
all the little knickknacks, all the crap that they've got from the arcades, slime, all the stuff that's going to be a nightmare to get off. Um, chewing gum, drinks, biscuits, wrappers, whatever they've got. Horrible little things. <laughs> that um, yeah, they're they're all checked. Um, and obviously, yeah, we've just done the visual on the outside. So as far as I'm concerned, this would be a sort of great position now to sort of say in my head that yeah, I've done all the things that I. I need to be going through in terms of a safe trip um, home or, or to site. Um, like you say, you expect some water to come out still where you, you've, you're flushing the system through and again make sure the taps are open because again that's going to uh, not allow a vacuum to form it and keep water in there so again that, that should be sort of one of the key areas but again like I say you may see water but don't panic from that. Um, and again as long as you've done all your checks in terms of uh, electrics you should be good to go probably the very last thing that you need to do is obviously attach your mirrors ready for towing um, and again you'll all have your own preferences on, on what that looks like in terms of make and model um, but yeah as far as far as I, as I, I can think that uh, that's all I would be doing in terms of yeah preparation for that, that exit what I'll do is I'll, I'll chuck a, a list uh, this list um, together it in the description below like you say i don't off the top of my head i don't think i'm missing anything i think these are everything that i would normally go be going through and sharing um so yeah i will um like i say i'll i'll i'll, I'll put a list together just for a final sort of checklist like i said there's lots out there on other forums as well um, like i say this is just what we go through in terms of preparation so like i say hope you found this video useful and um yeah i will see you on the next one